you very much, Hazel, and a very good evening, everyone. Thank you, Frame Line. Both players receiving a Shut standing ovation when they come into this Barbican Centre. What an entrance. Both players in this wonderful crowd. And first chance for Judd Trump. He did say Dennis how important. His first frame will be, and particularly for Judd Trump. Excellent One. shot. A 5-1 today, this afternoon. We were all getting a little bit worried. He looked a little bit at sea. Managed to win those last two frames to give himself some hope for this evening. Just about okay, I think. Nine. I can see there's still a red available there. So he doesn't have to think about going into the reds just yet. 16. Seven. And that's okay. Straight on the black, he can screw back off the cushion. Oh, he's overscrewed that. Now, if the second red goes, he's okay. 24. And it does. So no problem. 25. Yeah, size break has only been 50. He has been getting chances, as we said. 33. A little heavy contact he got 33. there. Fifth black coming up. He would share the £44,000 that Ronnie O'Sullivan has at the moment. 41. And it's going to be very interesting to see how many reds he brings into play. Now, is he on one? We may have to forget about blacks now. The main thing is to win the frame. 40. Just on 48. Breaks down on 48, and it's not enough. 1. Yeah, all about pace, that shot. No. Not this Only time. Sullivan, what? no, what's he left? I don't know whether that got a slight heavy contact. Has he covered it with the yellow? As you can see the yellow covering that one. So it's a long red. Uh, let's have a look to see if that jumped slightly. Not sure. Chances there now, though. Yeah, we tend to forget about the referees. Uh, I mean, the concentration they've got to put into a long match, especially with the misrule. It used to be quite easy to referee. Seven. Not these days. Is it 92%? That's where you want to be. But look at that long pot success. We're at one stage this afternoon, they were both at 100%. Both had about six long pots without missing. 13. In fact, Ronnie's only missed one long pot out of 18, Cam. That's some going. Mm. Well, a little bit edgy, Foul. Ronnie, so far. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 13. That's a pretty good shot there. can just get past the green to the potting angle of this one. And there's another long pot gone in. So this is a second chance for Ronnie. Six. Mm. 
Seven. Perfect on the pink. Just to nudge the red above the pink out away. Pink will go on the black spot. Thirty. Now all there for the taking. Fourteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. I'm sure Judd figures the worst here. Twenty-seven. He's needed a couple of chances. That's not the best shot Ronnie has ever played. Thirty-three. Yeah, that's a great recovery. Thirty-eight. Brown, blue, and pink needed. Forty-two. Forty-seven. Well, Jude was in first, but he didn't Ronnie make O'Sullivan. enough. And Ronnie O'Sullivan he now extends his lead to six-three. Ronnie O'Sullivan breaks off frame ten. Not the best break off. Not a chance. Jude Trump can. Off the top cushion here and still stay on the black if he wishes. Pink also available. It's a nice shot. Well controlled. One. Now, he's got a slight angle, but that could have Eight. been a little bit better. Oh, Nine. excellent shot. An example of his cue power, Dennis, not easy. Yeah, that last shot he took on, uh, he said, yeah, you've got to make sure you get the pot when it's close to the cushion. <laughs> and he 16. hammers them in. I mean, these pockets are very tight. How he locks them in at that pace is amazing. 17. A careless break off from Ronnie, and he doesn't usually make a poor break off shot. 24. 25. Well, that looked as if it was going to miss. Have a look at this. It just 31. caught that far jaw. Ooh. 32. A little bit further than he would have liked. But still, a nice angle on the pink. We saw Ronnie miss. A blue like this in the last frame. Got to concentrate on the pot first. Uh, how's your look? Needs a bit of luck here this time. How is it? <laughs> and again, wonderful split, but nothing straightforward. 38. Couldn't have opened the reds any nicer. That's right in the heart of the pocket. It just needs. One frame, one visit. He needs to win this frame in one visit, just to give him that bit of confidence. 41. 50 is only his highest break, and it's just not enough to beat Ronnie O'Sullivan. 42. I think he's okay. He wanted to be straight on the pink, but when you're leaving the white close to the pink, not easy to judge the shot. And uh, yes, that's curling in. Yeah. 48. We saw we screwed that. 49. This makes this pink just a little bit more awkward. This is missable. Well played. Well played. That was a bit of pressure on that shot. 55. Yeah, I think it was a little touch of adrenaline when he <laughs> overscrewed that. 
56. He's only 56 ahead. Okay, it's a pretty good lead as we show you the unintentional cannon on the red there. So he's not going to win the frame with one visit. It's such a margin for error there as well. It's That's pretty clever. For Trump 56. He's got the pink safe. Not too bad. Ronnie immediately taking the safe red off the cushion. But he was always going to be leaving this red, Dennis, wasn't he? That was the problem. And the way he pots, he's knocked a lot of these in. Not this time, though. And he's going to bring the pink out into play again. He knew that that was uh, almost frame ball there. It's as if Ronnie seems to relish this sort of situation when he knows he's got to pot the lot to pinch a frame. He did it in the last, but how many times have we seen him do that uh, over the years, Ken? He, he sort of, it's like a little it's inner strength he has. Yeah, it's what all the great champions, UK champions have done over the years. Steve Davis, Stephen Hendry. And because they know how much it hurts your 60. opponent when you're 50 behind and you, you win a frame or 60 behind, it really does. 17. They'd be feeling it. Played for the more difficult one. Needs a bit of an angle on this. 24. Can. 25. He's made the angle there, just with the power of the shot. But still not straightforward by any means just yet. And that's what can happen. He's hit it a little too hard. If he's, he's had a look at the pink a couple of times. What if you can pot this red into the green pocket? Just get it right in behind the pink here. Three. Couldn't get in behind the pink, but the green will do. What a pot that was. Uh, this looks pretty good. I thought it was just going to come up a little bit short. He's looking at the scoreboard. 36. He's uh, 20 behind, so it doesn't matter what he pots. He's missed the red. But he's got a snooker. Neil Sullivan, 36. There's a chance here for Judd off two cushions to maybe get the snooker back. That's what he can do if he catches it right. Oh, he's sending it towards the corner pocket. He's a bit unlucky here. But that brown's still in the way of the yellow. That's going to be key if Ronnie pots this and gets on a colour. Good effort. One. Try to take the pink out there. He's going to need all the way up. Two, and including the black to win this frame. So you would say that Judge's Judd's only saving grace could be that pink. Four. It's in, Six. It's in that position. Oh, he needs it. Just okay. Well, that pink may be in a perfect position for a possible double. Nine. Looking at the possibility of leaving an angle on the blue to disturb the pink, because I think he could only drop the pink Thank in, you. and that's why he's played it there. So he's got choices here. Does he drop in behind the pink, and how does he get to the black then? So does he intend to move the pink here? He does. Oh, great shot. And that's helped Eight the three. situation somewhat. But it's still not... Still not a gimme. If he pots the pink, he'll be on the black. And that is played perfectly. 24. It really is. That's a super shot there.
Black for a 7 tree lead. In a goal, yeah. Ronnie O'Sullivan yeah. has made a magnificent clearance. As Judd Trump sits in his chair, he'd be very disappointed. But it's Ronnie O'Sullivan now who goes into a 7 frames to tree lead. I can just see enough of it. Trump won. Just gone a little bit too far, has it? And you see it. It's a, an early chance for Ronnie. No. No, no. And what a chance to bring the black into play straight away. One. Well, he won't get a better chance than this, so. Eight. Well, plenty of reds in the open, so we'll have to rely on developing any into play for quite some time, you would say, and should gain Eleven. a substantial lead from what's there at the moment. Well. Little cannon here on the red. Just Sixteen. helps the situation. Yeah, it's about focus and concentration now because. They're sitting very nicely. Yes. 22. Twenty-eight. Oh, <laughs> well, what a kick he's 29. got there. That's amazing. Look at how much that red bounced. Oh, he's played a good recovery shot here. Still not... Straightforward, but that's about as well as he could do there. One more good shot needed. And he's played it well. Back in prime position again. To get top side of the blue, maybe just about. Well, he tried to force an angle, he was just off straight, and uh, the plant is risky, and the other one isn't, and that's his choice. Probably would have been better forgetting about the plant and putting all this concentration into that red, first of all. It's a free shot, shot to nothing. He's up behind the yellow now. To Trump one. Four, just a red. He's seen what happened in the two previous frames, so he definitely doesn't want to be risking that one. Not with the 54 point advantage. Just Trump, four. Yeah, 
Yeah, and that shot tells you that he made the right choice now. But he did play a very telling safety shot, put Ronnie in a lot of trouble there. And that's the one that will secure the frame. One more frame to be played after this one for the mid-session interval. Doesn't matter about that. I think Ronnie will stay in his seat. 62 the difference. So Judge Trump, he needed that one badly. It's 7-4. What a poor break off from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Half a chance again to Trump. It's quite some way away from that. If this goes in, it'd be a sizable break on. If it doesn't, it'll be safe. Seen nice. this week. What a wonderful maximum break he made. He's so good in this situation. 60. 70. 147 against Matt Machiselt earlier in the week. 25. He'll play for the blue this time. 32. 33. You wouldn't think the pink would go, but it does, as you can see. Not perfect. But he's pretty close to this red, and it's not easy 30. to control the cue ball. He's got to try and get through for the blue here. Now he's had to leave the blue up 40. into the corner. <laughs> I'm just looking. He's looking at the possibility of a plant, but as you can see... All blocking each other. Or is he going to take on a very risky plant? 45. This is far from easy. He's no. got a dog. <laughs> 46. I'm trying to get on the red on the pink spot here. And if he has a nice angle on it, he may bring more reds into play when he pots this. 51. 52. Well, he could find the gap. And you play these longer matches and little mini sessions. Try to win 3-1. He did that. 59. At the start of this final, and it looks as if he's going to do it again here and extend his lead to 8-4. Just relying on a good split here. And he's got it. Absolutely perfect. 65. And that's been the difference. In this final, Ronnie has given 66. chances to Judd, but he hasn't taken them on one visit. He has the great knack of just moving up through the gears. It's amazing. Frame secure, so... Not 74. a bad kiss. He can concentrate now on a possible century. Ronnie's made 769. Seventy-eight. We've had 89 centuries here at the Barbican. Yeah, it's been fantastic. Some great snooker. 85. 86. Has he got an angle to split these two reds? Yes, he has. Excellent shot. Beautiful. 93. Poetry emotion, Dennis. And still under eight minutes. That Magnificent century break was made. 100. 101. And this crowd certainly enjoying the snooker. I mean, the both players got an unbelievable reception. 108. Playing like this. 111. You wouldn't give Judd a great deal of chance. Well, he's got to do what Ronnie's done here. Still a bit to go in this match. He's be trying to tell him just yet, but this has been brilliant from O'Sullivan. Another century on the board for Ronnie O'Sullivan. 
Lots to contemplate for Judd Trump. And his bowl go off. But it's Ronnie O'Sullivan who leads eight frames to four. Reception for both players as you come back in the arena. And lots of talk interval. About century breaks. Judd Trump needs to make a few now and soon. If you talk about playing numbers, Judd needs to win 6 1. To be honest, I can't see him doing that. Six. The target Seven. ten, remember? Less than three and a half hours. Thirteen. So black and pink tied up. Could do with a good angle here on blue or bought colour. He's played for the blue. 40. And now smash into them. Yeah, it's just an awkward. The shape of the bunch is awkward. Well, he's hit that perfect. Now, if he's on this red next to the pink, that is a bonus. 19. I think it goes. 20. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Thirty-three. But no one would ever question 34. the way that Ronnie goes around making a frame when in break. I think as we watch Ronnie make this this break from a difficult position, I think it's, a, it's still the difference with the two players. The composure Forward. Ronnie shows in amongst the balls when he's break building. Don't know whether Judd's quite ready to beat Ronnie over a long frame match yet. He's got all the talent, and I'm sure he will in the future. But perhaps that lacked that little bit of composure today when he's got in. But I agree with you, Stephen. It's not come down to that. It's come down to taking your chances. And it's all about cue ball control. Short selection. That may have gone wrong, though. 54. He's looking at the, the plant, but it's a plant comes safety. He'll do well to get this. And the red score over the middle. Ronnie O'Sullivan, so, 54. Jude, you've got a chance. Yeah, this is a massive reprieve. You would think if Ronnie was on a red there, the frame would be over by now. Can Judd make the most of this? Yeah, I'm not certain if that red just above the black is available. Would you want to risk 90. potting this red and trying to bring the black into play? I think it's definitely worth a risk. I think it's, this is his left himself now with a it's not a guaranteed position here. He can play the cannon off the green. If he misses it, he still could be on the red to the left corner. Mm. Well, match is played. May even play the cannon. I thought he looked at it there, but obviously not. 24. He's got the angle on the pink, though. Now, if this goes right, it could be a frame winner. That was the problem, that red was so tight to the black that when he hit it, it wasn't going to move anywhere. Touch him. And looks like it's end of break. Judd Trump, 30. But there's an example. He's not got the snooker. Oh, where's the cue ball going? Oh. And this could. Well, I was thinking maybe a free ball. Just depends. If he puts that 
Cue ball next to yellow. Is it a free ball? Well, the referee's not called it, so obviously isn't. Hello! One. What a fluke. And it could just turn this frame in his favour. Clung to the top cushion. <gasps> well, he had a bit of luck. The front one. And when you get that bit of luck, you've got to take full advantage. Yeah, and this is what was on about, about composure. That was a real chance to take this frame. It just wasn't able to settle. And if you want to be one. competing in these big events to win, so you have to have that. The black and the yellow required, and this black is tricky. But right in the heart of the pocket. So just the yellow now to go Eight. 29 points in front with 25 remaining. Ten. Thirteen. Seventeen. Twenty-two. Well, when Judd fluked the second last red, you thought the snooker gods were giving him a chance. Twenty-eight. But he couldn't take it. And it's another frame that goes the way of Ronnie O'Sullivan. It's a runaway at the moment, no answer for Judd Trump. And Ronnie O'Sullivan is one frame away from winning his fifth United Kingdom Championship. Well, the crowd certainly trying to lift Judd. Came back in and they're all rooting for him now. I think we just won't go that red. If he can just win one frame at a time and maybe win the next two, then he might start believing. One. Good pot, and I think he's on that red just above the black. Six. Seven. Fourteen. Fifteen. And that's just about inch perfect. Couldn't have got it any better. Wait. If the black goes, you can just drop this red in. 21. Whoa. Man, he's landed nicely to just chip that red above the black away from the black spot. I don't think the black goes to the right corner, so we have to go for the pink here. He's got to keep focused and stay in the moment. Thirty-five. So he really needs to focus and really concentrate as hard as he can here. One shot at a time. Forty. Forty-four. Maybe you can screw back for the pink in the same pocket. You could just 52. about get into it enough. I bet if someone said to Judd this morning, play 14 frames, your highest break was 58. only 58. You just said they were crazy. 59. Just a red and a colour needed. 66. 67. Just to show this Barbican crowd that he's up for the fight. 73. 
74. Seventy-nine. Eight. Eighty-six. Is it too late? Well, they say it's never too late. Ninety-three. Ninety-four. Well played. Well done. He's going in two as well this part of the crowd. And he's responded and gave them something to cheer about. Yeah, and after the last frame when his attitude looked like he'd given up. This has been a tremendous performance. 111. 115. 130 is his highest, he could better that here. Mr. Black, he'll do nicely. Beautiful shot. And there's the family, still hoping. Well, pity. Oh, well, it didn't matter about the pin, but that was a bit more like it. Ronnie won't be getting too concerned just yet, but Judd Trump has just shown Ronnie that he's still there, alive and kicking. Half a chance for O'Sullivan. Hasn't missed many of those today, that's for sure. What damage has he done, if any? Doesn't look like he's done any. Anxious looks from Ronnie O'Sullivan, but looks relatively safe. And oh no, there's one to the middle. One. Seven. Eight. Yes, could not have hit that any better. Well, he's got his momentum going after that wonderful break in the last frame. 21. 21. Well, both these players are inspirational players. 22. They need to get inspired to start playing their, their best form. <laughs> yeah, he made that look so easy. <laughs> 20. Oh, a tricky shot and a bit of pressure on it as well. 29. All of a sudden there's a different look on his face, John. When it's slipping away, you just feel as a bit embarrassed to be there. But now he's proved that he can win a frame in one visit. He'll grow in confidence and he'll believe a bit more. 45. Yeah, I think you'd like to play the end red on the right-hand side of that little cluster. So you're going on the right-hand side of the table, just like that. So you were back, there was two loose reds on the right-hand side of the table. 53. In the last two frames he stroked the ball, John, rather than hitting it. Oh, a kick! But it hasn't 61. affected the pot. Yep. That's the only thing you can say. He's not perfect on the black now, but that kick would have been even worse if the red hadn't have dropped. And it looked as though it might not do at one time. In it goes, is he on the red? He's on the red to the middle. 16. And just this red, and it's snooker's required. 69. 75. 76. And this is more like the snooker he's been playing all the week. 83. 84. 
99. Well played. Well played, young man. Every credit to you. Oh, we're five. That's his ninth century. 106. Needs to just run past the blue, and it has. 115. Just beginning to steal the limelight, Stephen. Yeah, for two frames, he's had the cue ball on a string. 118. 122. Perfect snooker for two frames. 127. Mm, oh, nice look there, but it doesn't matter. Well, that is a response. Ronnie O'Sullivan's got a little bit to think about now because Jim Trump, when he gets a chance, doesn't like missing. It's now 9 7. Well, miss will be called. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Don't know whether Ronnie will have it replaced. So I'll be amazed if he doesn't is it this time. Be amazed. Well, Ronnie has had it replaced Ronnie once. He'll have it replaced again because this yeah. time Judd will get a warning. You have to hit the red, yeah. Terry Camilleri telling him you have to hit the red. Well, he did, and he hit it all wrong. And he's been very lucky there not to leave an easy red on for Ronnie. Well, he does have a red to the far left corner. And it's virtually a shot to nothing if he stuns the cue ball where the red is. Nope. Well, that was the only red he could leave, and he's left it. I thought it might come away from the pocket should he miss it. Five. Well, I'd be a little bit Six. disappointed with that. Yeah. So he's got to take this cue ball in and out of Bork. Well, he's come down the line. He's on it to the middle. He's also on the left to the right corner. Well, just about got the angle on the blue this time, but a little bit closer to the cushion than he would like. Played that beautifully. He seems to be very good when he's Seven. close to the cushion. 18. He's striking the ball very well now. He's perfect. 25. 26. All of a sudden, the game's easy, John, again. Yes, and here's the pot success for Jud Trump in the last three frames. 33. 92% against 53%. 34. And as we always say, when your opponent's at the table, all you can do is sit and watch. 41. And Ronnie will be getting a little bit concerned. He knows what a talent Jude Trump is. And he's uh, hitting overdrive here. And making the game look very easy. 49. 50. I have to play the cannon. There's no reds available. You always need a little bit of luck here. Always need a bit of luck. Can he get past the pink for the reds? I'm looking at his body language. 57. He's looking long and hard. If he can pot this red, frame and his mercy. Frame and his mercy. Just maybe had to bend it slightly with a little bit of left hand side. Nothing he can do. Judd Trump has made two centuries, last two frames. 57 the lead. Decided to play for the red and the bolt colour. And he's on it. 
He's on it. Couldn't be on it better. Red, colour red, required. 66. What a turnaround. Yeah, this has been phenomenal, Snooker. The last three frames from Judd Trump. Really 71. has. 71. He's black with 71 points in front with 59 remaining. Unbelievable. 79. 80. Well, if he plays a cannon into the pink here, he'll bring all three reds into play if he hits the pink foolish. Oh, and he's missed the pink. He'll have to play a double 85. here. But this 85 will be enough. Can he pot it? Can he pot it? He can't miss at the moment. Well, he had to play that with a tremendous amount of left hand side, which caused him to miss the black. But it is really Matt John. Ronnie O'Sullivan has had a chance. Judd Trump is not missing the ball. It's now 9-8. And if he did win this next frame, it would be one of the great finals. It would be an epic. But Ronnie will have something to say about that. The last thing Ronnie O'Sullivan wants at the moment is a deciding frame. It's not often Ronnie O'Sullivan goes three frames in a final without putting a single ball, though. Ball's potted from frames 14 to 17. Unbelievable. Well, that was a thin one, and it could nestle up behind the green list. What a line! Looks a straightforward one cushion escape. You just got to be careful you don't hit it too pacey. Yeah. No, that's good enough. Mm, very unlike Ronnie that to catch a ball colour, particularly when he was close to the red. So here's a chance for Judd. To wedge his back, Stephen. Why not just stun for the pink to the right corner? The way he's been playing. And that's One. 39 minutes. That's how long it's taken Ronnie to pot a ball. Oh, he's all right. He got just the right nudge. Oh. Just the right nudge. As you say, Johnny, the last thing he wants is a decider. Five. He put every ounce of effort into this chance. Twelve. Well, he cued that beautifully. Thirteen. Of course, there's always a bit of pressure when it's a frame and match. 20. Winning opportunity. 21. Chad will be fearing the worst, though. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Would you believe it? And I think he may have got away with it. Normally, when you miss a black off the spot, you leave an easy red. But he hasn't. Lucky. Shouldn't really have left Ronnie a chance at this red to the left of the table. Well, what a good part that was. But as you say, Stephen, One. Judd should not have left him even a sniff of that red. He's having to play the pink and he can't get through to the black, obviously. Seven. Mm. Well, Judd is sat there now wondering Eight. whether he's played his last shot. Yeah, it's just awkward with the red that's closest to the black. 
The normal shot would just be to stun the left hand side up for a red to the left centre, but you can't play that shot with that red there, so it's not guaranteed position. Yeah, good shot. Yeah, in the end, he decided to play the wrong round, the two cushions with lots of right hand side and couldn't have played it better. 16. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Starting to look like the end now, though. Doesn't need any of those four reds next to the pink. Thirty. Mm, not the perfect angle on this red. You can just force it round, and 31. he has done. Cued it beautifully. Judd will now be fearing the worst. Boy, did he put up a fight. Well, he might get another chance because that's a very poor positional shot from Ronnie. There you see it, and it won't 30. get any bigger. 59 ahead, 75 remaining. Only a safety shot to play. So, Neil Judd, Sullivan, you will 30. get back to the table this play. Needs a bit of good fortune, and I think he's had it. 30. Well, if he misses the green, this will be a good shot. <laughs> Having a look at the possibility of a pot to the left corner. Could be the match winner. Didn't, and as it, it's so thick, Ooh. and Ronnie's turn to be fortunate there. He's left a red to this right corner pocket, and I would suggest, Stephen, that he fully commits to this one, Judd. Well, he must have thought he's lost the match a while ago, so yeah, stunned for the black. Brilliant. Brilliant. That was a tremendous shot in that red. That was match over if he missed that. Eight. Yeah, just off straight. But he's just on to hit this positional shot. Nine. But he's okay. Well, this would be remarkable if he could clear up here and take Four. us to a decider. 15. 22. 23. He played for the red on the cushion that time, but he's just under hit it slightly. So he needs a good angle on the colour off this red now. As I say, that 31. red near the side cushion is good for him being left-handed, but he's landed perfect on the blue, just a little screw shot back to the side cushion. Doesn't want to be straight, just needs a little bounce. It's okay. Ooh, sharp and take a breath. Excellent shot. Well, since that opening long red, Ford. he's taken these like a practice session. 42. Well, this is remarkable. 45. 49. Perfect. Absolutely perfect on the blue, particularly for a left-hander. It's a little soft stun. 54. Look of formality, but nothing's a formality here and now. 
60. Well, Ronnie will be slightly stunned. As am I. What a comeback. Absolutely sensational. I don't wonder that both players are leaving the arena. Jump drop, nine four down. Down and out. It's not a piece. Well, it's expected. The crowd very get, getting very, very Thank you. excited. Thank you. That's if he's playing this red for the black, he doesn't want to miss it. Oh, what a shot. One. What a shot. Yeah, that is being picky, but... Oh, are they a plant? Maybe not. I think if they had it been, he'd have played for them. But it's first chance to Ronnie. He'll be feeling it now. He's only human. Nine. Yeah, but these are the situations where separates the best from the rest. He's just been pummeled for five frames. He hasn't gone to the cue ball there though. Fifteen. That's much too thin a cut in this red. Yeah, good cut, but this cue ball needs to come away from the cushion. On your side of the pot. If he had to play a safety shot, if he catches it thick, he opens all the reds up. Farms. On your side of the Every frame time was just below 17 minutes. Now it's. 15 and a half, just over 15 and a half minutes, and that's all because Jim Trump has found another gear. Best if you can find the bolt cushion to force your opponent into playing a safety off the reds, they can always leave a pot on. enough angler to be able to play this with pace and go back up the table. He's got to be accurate. It was that straight. One. Now, what a big shot this is on the pink if he takes it on. Wouldn't blame him if he didn't. But that's his natural game. Big shot this. Absolutely superb. Seven. That was a phenomenal pot. Eight. And they have to play the pink up into the, the green pocket here to stay amongst the reds. Can't see where the next red's coming from. Right middle it is. Right in the heart of the pocket. Now what's he on? What is he on? Not 40. a lot. Just three inches too hard. Joe Trump, 14. He needs a good white. It's a pretty good one. Mistake. Now he needs a bit of luck here. And he's had it. And behind the green ears. And it's a problem here. You do very well now, Judd, not to leave a pot on. I'm trying to find a path to a red. And it's not going to be easy. That is one way. But as you can see from the line, he'll have to go very, very close to the blue. If he does make contact with that red, he will not leave anything easy. But boy, he's got to pick the perfect line. 
and the perfect pace. You may be thinking that red on the right hand side of the table may just block the three cushion escape, but I don't think it will. Well, going this way, how does he get it safe? How do you get it safe going this way? Oh dear. He knew as soon as he hit it, he hadn't hit it hard enough, but I still question the line he chose. And here's a chance now for Ronnie, who has had a bit of a scare, so don't take anything for granted. Six. Seven. Sat there, Judd. Wondering whether his fight back was in vain. Great effort to take us into a decider. Fourteen. It could be that one snooker that has turned the match in Ronnie's favour. Coming up to five hours in what has been an enthralling match in every sense. 21. Yeah, it just sort of went along until 9-4. Ronnie picking up the pieces from the mistakes and then all of a sudden it's just caught fire. Incredible last hour. Incredible performance by that man. You can take a lot from it because we all saw at 9-4 he managed to win that frame and then that just gave him a boost to produce his best snooker of the match and take us to the decider. But a mistake from Ronnie. 34. Can he just get past the blue? This is the red he played on, but... Yeah, right in the middle of the pocket, but not that good on the colour. This yellow will put him 47 points in front. So he's looking for one more red and a colour. And it goes. Where's the cue ball going? Oh, absolutely inch perfect. 37. Quick glance at the scoreboard. Red and a pink. And Judd will need a snooker. This pink will put Ronnie 54 points in front with just 51 remaining. And the fist pump from Ronnie because he must have been very concerned. And that young man put him under pressure. But that will mean now that Judd will not come back to the table. Well, what a feast of snooker they've given us this evening. And it nearly was Tales of the Unexpected. And, and Ronnie will be mighty relieved. On, Ronnie. And the uh, house Thank you, guys. What a great, great final. And uh, having a chat and a laugh with one another. Ronnie O'Sullivan has been absolutely superb in this tournament. Made an excellent one for seven. He now takes his fifth Coral Youth United Kingdom Championship. He beats the Juggernaut, who gave it everything by 10 frames to nine. Superb! Mm -hmm.